Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Playing host to this matchup is Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world. Mitchell is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. tackled the 38-yard line. Butler's the kind of kid that just continues to impress us, Herbie. I mean, he's taking his game to the next level, and his stats are making everyone in the country take notice. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 38-yard line. He's at midfield. Tackle around the 48-yard line. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Second down, two to go. Ball on the 40. He's at the 30. And they make the stop around the 27-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. Five wide. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the way. That makes it second and six. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. Third down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Again with a carry. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws it to the outside. And that one's incomplete. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. Hankins gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line.
So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep five on the ground. That brings him second and five. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Makes it out to about the 40. That makes it first and 10. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. They'll bring him down right around midfield. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Mike three, Mike three. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Jordan gets the call. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. And they got the better of them that time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. <laughs> Rifles it left. Tackle made right around the 18-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. We've played one quarter. Texas leads 3-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. The Rebels running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. The 10, the 5, touchdown, Ole Miss. That's as pretty an option play as you'll ever see. It took all fall practice for the quarterback and the halfback to get their timing down. But man, do they look good now. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. After, after review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after review, they'll change the spot of the ball and we'll play football again. And the goal line defense digging in here. Madsen on the give. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From 
the three yard line. Second down. Laterals back, brought down at the two. They put everyone up on the line. Touchdown, Mississippi. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11-play, 56-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Ole Miss is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Second and five. Ball on their own 30. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. What a huge run by the tailback. It's pretty obvious that this offensive line controlled the line of scrimmage that time, but did you see how this halfback eluded the defense? From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Looks left, finding his tailback, and he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, first down. They'll get him for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Was the intended receiver on the play? That'll make it third. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Hamilton was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. It's up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 26. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. 
In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Ole Miss with a one-point lead. Tackle for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 25. Aaron and out long. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle around the 32-yard line. That brings up second and nine. He fires. down and they need to get it to the 23. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Miss is up one. zone down for a touchback every single time this offense has the ball they're moving the football but they're settling for field goals and every time they settle for field goals I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns that's a bad sign Swings it out left to the halfback. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Quick strike to the back. No good. That makes it second and 10. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. Bailey was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. From their own 30-yard line. It's third down. He's going to go for the home run. This one will fall incomplete. Smith breaks it up. That'll make it fourth and ten. Caldwell is back deep to return. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Three down, three down. Ole Miss, up a point. Mike three. Set, ah. Going deep, lays it out there. Almost intercepted. We've played a half of football here. The Rebels lead it by one.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us, and more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28. The Longhorns were just cruising along in the first half, but the fortunes have slipped a little bit here in quarter number three. It's just not the same team offensively. It's, it's been a struggle in the third quarter. Let's see if they can get back on track and be able to build on their lead. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Ole Miss with a one-point lead. Got it, and brought down immediately. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. It to the 41. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Cut, cut, cut. Quick strike and he drops it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 42. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Go. Marks, this is four. Kill, 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 kill. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a gain of six on the play. First down. Ole Miss is up one. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 18. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Side right, side right. Four down, four down. Mike three, Mike three. Check, check, check. Check three, check three. Run, run, run. Run play and he'll lose yards. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That'll make it third and five. Mike three. Mike three. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Kill, 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 kill. Get to that quickly. And down he goes at the four yard line. Game of ten. That makes it first and goal. Mike 
And they make the stop around the two-yard line. That brings him second and goal. to slow down in short yardage situations. And he converts the extra point. The Rebels saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Mitchell is lined up to kick this one off. Miller takes it at the four. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The Rebels running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Here we go. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it 31. Field. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. They'll bring him down at the 12 yard line. So it's first and 10 after the big run. it right he can't get back to the line well the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it's good. like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Both of these offenses are stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute, put points up. 
And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Jordan on the inside handoff. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Gets out to around the 48. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. Ole Miss is lead is five. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. In the shotgun and five wide out. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. Bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Nice run there. Butler gets six yards on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets to around the 42. stop at the 33 yard line he got just a little bit of daylight and that's all he needed to turn that one into a big play from the 33 yard line first down brought down at the 35 two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Side right, side right. Four down, four down. New Mike, 52, Mike, 52. Five wide. He's on the run. He's at the 20. And he's finally shoved out at the nine. First and goal, and they need a touchdown. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackle at the one. That brings up second and goal. 
Mike, watch Mike, watch Mike. You ain't doing nothing today. Ready, hot, black, black, kick the eight. Black, kick the eight. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Back just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. And they won't get the two. This one away. Parrish fields it at the one. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Let's see what this offense can do with this football here, where they need to move the ball and at the very least get into field goal range to give themselves a chance to take the lead. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. He was able to just tip that one away, right out of the receiver's reach. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he's tackled at the 29. That's good for a three yards. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Going deep. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. Nice run up the middle. Butler picks up five with the carry. Ole Miss just took their first time out. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 17-yard line. The 10. Touchdown, Texas! on the extra point. A quick two-play, 22-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. They line up to kick this one away. Parrish fields at the goal line. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just over a minute left. 14, 14. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Mike 
Flips it, middle to the running back. And he's taken down at the 28. The Rebels call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the forty six yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one on his receiver. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. He sails it long. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this block. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The Rebels using their third and final timeout. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 44. Under a minute left in the game. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. <laughs>